Hi everyone, Eric at Austin Custom Brass, and I had a student's parent ask a question the other day. It was a great question, and that's what prompted this video. So, what happened was the band director sent out a notification, communication to the parent saying, hey, your child, your student needs to upgrade their horn if they want to be considered for the top ensembles. And so, made some recommendations, but those recommendations were kind of out of the price range, uh, the comfortable price range of what the parent was willing to commit. For a little reference, the student is a sophomore and they're serious about music right now, but they're not sure that they're serious about music for the rest of their life, going on to college, uh, even as a minor. So reasonable that the parent is a little hesitant to, you know, shell out 35, 100, 4,000 or more for a horn for conceivably the next two years. So they asked and said, well, what, what alternatives would be out there? What do you have? And so I made a video for them comparing the horns and I thought, what a great idea. Let me do that for you. So I have five different horns, four different brands. I have a uh, John Packard, that's the JP Wrath 3320. I have a uh, Brass Pyre Unicorn trombone. I have two Manchester brasses, the TB01 and the TB02, and then uh, and all those are under $2,000. And then I have the Sonic uh, by Adams, which is 2,800. All these are 547 bore, um, and they're all, I feel very good about all the horns uh, for different reasons. I'm gonna start with the JP Rat, the 3320. So this horn is made by John Packer. Get it off the stand here. So this horn is made by John Packer. The lead pipe is designed specifically uh, and exclusively by Rath for this horn. So it is a, uh, it's a 547. So they list it as a yellow brass um, horn. I think if you're looking at it, I think this is a little bit darker yellow. I really like it. It has a nice, if you can hear that, nice ring to it. Um, it is a open wrap with a rotary valve. See that? Nice, easy to hold grip. A little bit thinner, Khan style uh, or Yamaha style on the slide. I find this horn very comfortable, very easy to hold. Uh, particularly, um, and I'll be honest, I, I don't have really big hands. So I think considering, you know, for what a student, depending on their size, where they are in, you know, their growth, this might be a really good choice um, to get them through. So I'll do some playing on that horn. You'll get to hear it compared to the others. Overall, I enjoy playing this horn. Um, I think for the price, it's a very, very solid horn and it lists for 1962. So the next horn that I have is the Brass Pyre Unicorn. So let me bring that over here. So again, 547, yellow brass, rotor valve, and it's going to be the open wrap. Uh, this is a wider, more of a Bach style, almost even as big as like an Edwards style. It's a, it's a pretty, it, it's a pretty wide um, slide. Again, like I said, I, I don't have the world's biggest hands. So for me, it's, I can feel that I'm holding it. Is it uncomfortable? No, it is not uncomfortable. Where the trigger is located versus where I have to hold it is actually very, very comfortable uh, and very easy to use, very easy to access. Um, so it's a eight and a half inch bell as well. So I believe all these are eight and a half inch bells. So that brings me to my two others. So uh, I have a Manchester brass and we have the TB01 and the TB02. So I'm gonna start actually with the 01 and this is one of my favorite horns that we have here uh, in this type of uh, this type of category. It's red brass. It is rotor valve, open wrap. Um, it says it's a box style, so it's not quite as wide, but a little more comfortable, I think. Again, very easy to hold. I think this has a wonderful response, uh, very easy to play, easy to blow, has a nice ring to it. I really like the sound that comes out of the bell, and I like the sound that I hear back um, on my end of the horn. And that's really important because it's not just what the audience hears or what's in front, but if as a musician, as a player, we want to hear that horn. So, you know, if you're a parent and 
your kid is in band and plays trombone and you think, well, I don't know that much about music or I don't know that much about trombones. I, I played clarinet. Um, this is really important for the musician to be able to hear as much as possible what they're playing as it is for the audience to be able to hear it. So this is the TB01. Um, again, like I said, I really, really like this horn. The TB02 is very nice as well. Again, 547. This is going to be all yellow brass. Um, and then uh, it has the rotor valve. So yellow brass. But the yellow brass is going to have a little bit brighter sound to it. Maybe a little more, uh, a little more zing. Whereas the TB01 with the red brass is going to have a little more sing as with an S. So I like this. It really just kind of depends on your preference and you know how you are as a player. Um, this brings me to one of my favorite horns that we have in this category. It's the Adams Sonic. It's a 547 uh, open wrap rotary valve. Really, it's a beautiful horn. Yellow. It's going to be more of that box style, wider. It's very, very comfortable, easy to hold, well balanced. And uh, with the trigger, one, one of the cool features with it, if you can see that, is it's contoured for your thumb. So it's just really comfortable as you're holding it. Thumb just slides right in and easy to play. It has a beautiful sound, rich, a lot of complexity. So this one is a little more expensive than the others. This one's 2800 so why? What do you get for 2800 that the other horns don't have? Well, you get the Adams Craftsmanship for one, which includes hand hammered bell. This makes a difference. This horn would be the ideal horn, I think, for any high school student who is in any way, shape, or form considering going on to college, even as a music minor or just playing for fun. Uh, if it's the type of horn that you think, I'm not gonna be a professional musician, I'm not going on to school to be a performance major, but I want to have a reliable horn that I can have for the next 15, 20 years of my life. The Adam Sonic is going to be that horn for you. Uh, this would be a great horn for anybody that's going to go into music ed. Um, I don't think that anybody would have ask you to replace it or anything like that. The Manchester Brass, I think, would be a great horn for somebody uh, as well who's going into music ed or going to be a music minor. I think that you could easily get into... Uh, the first couple of years of music school, maybe even as a uh, performance major, you might be able to get the first year or two, depending on the university, before somebody asks you to upgrade. But I think either one of these horns, the Manchester or the Adams, would be something that can get you through high school and beyond, and the Adams well beyond. Uh, the other horns, the J.P. Rath and the Brass Pyre, I think they're very nice horns for the high school musician and would get somebody into their first year of college, particularly if they were a music ed major, music minor, possibly going to community college. If you're thinking about going to a serious music program, I don't know that those would be the type of horns that are going to, um, that you're gonna find satisfying getting into that first year of college. Again, I think with the Adam Sonic, you could definitely get into your first and second year even as a performance major and still be fine um, before you really need to upgrade. Um, and if you're a music ed major, or minor, I think you can get through college on that. Same thing with the Manchester Brass. So like I said, I'm gonna do some playing, do some comparison on the sound, let you take a listen to them. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call, 816-410-0826. My name's Eric, my extension is 705. If I'm unavailable, someone else will be able to help you. Uh, you can also shoot us an email or me an email if you wanna reach me specifically. Our email is info at austincustombrass.com. My direct email is eric at austincustombrass.com. Look forward to helping you and uh, helping find the right horn for you and your student. Thank you. I'm going to play everything today on an Austin Custom Brass ACB 5.1 mouthpiece. So this is the 5.1. Really like this mouthpiece. I think it pairs well with every horn. We do have a 5. Uh, we also have a 4 as well. These would compare, so the 5.1 compares favorably to like a Schilke 51D, uh, Bach 5G, though a little bit deeper. Our 5, ACB 5, is like a Bach 5G, and our 4 is going to be uh, kind of on par with the 4G. We also have a 6 as well, if you would prefer something just a little bit smaller. So the ACB mouthpieces are wonderful, and again, I'm playing today on the ACB 5.1. <laughs> 
So I'm going to talk a little bit about the horns after I've played. So just kind of real briefly, a few kind of points of interest. I'm going to start with the Sonic Atoms. Um, this is my favorite horn to play. Uh, the valve, the rotor is absolutely wonderful. Uh, no hiccups with it, easy free blowing. I think the horn has the most uh, interesting and complex tone. Uh, it's the sort of horn that I think that you could use as an all-purpose horn in, in high school. And I say that because I realize that a lot of high school students only have one horn. Um, and I think you could play it in wind ensemble. You could play it in a brass group or chamber ensemble, solo, uh, solo pieces for solo and ensemble. Uh, you can play it in jazz band if you needed to. You know, it's going to be a little bit difficult to play lead trombone on it, but any 547 is going to be difficult to play lead trombone on. So that's not unique to this. But second trombone, uh, if you're playing solos a lot, Third trombone, you're going to be fine. Even if you were playing fourth trombone uh, and you were asked to play below the staff, I think that this would be a great horn. While it's not a bass trombone, you know, if your school doesn't have a bass trombone and they're asking you to play that, you'd be able to play it on this and be just fine um, and, and sound good. So like I said, the Sonic Adams, and I keep it, it's right down here. So the Sonic Adams is one of my favorite horns in this category. Uh, my next favorite is the Manchester Brass, the TB01 with the Red Brass. Uh, I really enjoy playing it. Again, the valve is very easy to use. I think it has a wonderful tone. Um, it's dark. I think for solo playing, it's wonderful. For ensemble playing, it's great. Might be a little bit too dark for jazz band, but again, I fully understand that students may only have one horn, so I, I don't think that it's going to hold you back in a high school jazz band. Um, you know, so it, it's probably not ideal but it's not gonna hold you back or keep you out of an ensemble, I don't think. Um, but it will give you an advantage of having a great sound and being able to play what's going to be asked of you in a wind ensemble or solo and ensemble literature. So uh, it's a wonderful horn. Uh, again, it's just under $2,000, so there's a little bit of a price difference. Um, so if that's more of your budget, then I think that Manchester Brass, the TB01 is a great option. The TB02, I feel very similar about it. I just like the red brass a little bit better. I like the tone. I think it's a little more interesting. That's all. Uh, the TB01, I think just like I said, has a little bit more richness to it. The TB02, the yellow brass, has a little bit more cut. Um, which brings me to the other horns. So we have the, uh, the JP, the John Packer Wrath, and I like that horn. It blows a little bit differently than the others. So it has a little bit more of a square uh, edge on the tuning slide and on the crook. Um, I find that I, I can feel the difference as I'm playing on it. Um, it's very different than what I'm used to playing. So for me, I find it just that the horn pushes back a little bit on me, not in a bad way. There's just a resistance that I'm not used to. Having said that, some people really, really like the resistance. I think the tone is nice. Um, clear projection. The valve is not as good as the Atoms, um, but it's very, very passable. Uh, I have no major complaints about it. And then the Brass Pyre. Uh, the Brass Pyre is a good horn, especially for the price. It's going to be the least expensive horn, and because of that, there's going to be certain sacrifices you make with that. But if it's the horn that falls into your budget and you are saying, I need a horn, I need to be able to grow, I need to be able to, and I want to be able to participate in the top ensembles and have these opportunities and I need this larger size horn and this is the one that falls into my budget, I don't think you're going to be disappointed and I don't think that the horn is going to cause you any problems or hold you back in any way, shape or form. It's an easy to play horn. 
So those are my thoughts on the horn. Again, feel free to contact me if you have any further questions, eric at austincustombrass.com or info at austincustombrass.com. If you're in the Kansas City area or would like to come to Kansas City and try horns, give us, uh, give us a ring, drop us an email. We'll set something up. You're always welcome to come in and try horns and mouthpieces. Thank you.